This letter is for anyone who has ever been alone, who has had those nights where the lamp is too bright and the train too loud and your heart beat too faint against the drumming of your own thoughts. This letter is for anyone who knows what it is like to hate the skin attached to your bones, to look in the mirror and see nothing but a shallow stranger with hollow eyes and a glare that isn't quite alive. This stranger blinks and opens its eyes to a life that is no longer your own. You see a monster with jagged fingers clinging to the stranger's shoulders. You turn a blind eye, you walk away, you close your mind to the shadows lurking in your doorway. Because that is all you know how to do, is survive. When you wake up, the sun is shining. The world outside is alive and bright, singing with the sounds of prosperity, with hope. You walk down the sidewalk alongside the others, but separate from them, disengaged and distant. The monster is still lurking on your shoulder. This letter is for anyone who needs to be understood, who needs to know that I too have a monster on my shoulders, that I too know what it is like to no longer recognize the face in the mirror, that I too, me too, us too, are not alone. You see, it's like a tiny little seed shriveled and ugly, forgotten until someone takes the time to pick it up, to squeeze it between their fingertips, to shine the light on its imperfections and unattractiveness. It's when someone takes the time to introduce that seed to the soil it so desperately needs to know. And there, buried beneath the ground, the magic happens. It's like a tiny little explosion where loneliness comes to die and hatred is sucked away and misunderstanding becomes belonging. Because the moment the seed meets the soil, roots begin to grow and a little baby stem begins to pop out of the ground and suddenly the pain is not nothing anymore but a transformation into something beautiful. You see, it's like watching a seed turn into a magnificent tree. It takes time. It takes years. But in the end, it is a masterpiece. You see, that's what pain becomes. A strong force of nature that cannot be undone.